Hey guys, today I suggest we create some trinkets. Oops. La, 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 la. Uh, so be careful! Without this piece, you will not be able to make trinkets! You're right! Let's start with the base. Bring me the yarn, please. Sam is coming into play! Look what I can do, Sue! Hey, Sammy, be careful! Don't throw the materials for crafting! Okay, we'll start by putting together the cardboard and yarn. Aha! Uh -huh, you are making some kind of cool accessory! Like working with yarn, huh? It's like I used to help my grandma when I was a little girl. And we're almost done with the yellow yarn! Sammy, which color is next? I think brown will be the best option here! We'll repeat the same moves once again. Did you guess what this is going to be? Guys, it's high time to subscribe to our channel and give us lots of thumbs up! Woohoo! In the meantime, the first step is done. So Sammy, what will it be? I know! It will be my new hat! A hat? Hmm, great idea! Maybe I should make one for myself as well. Oh no! It will be too small for your head! And this was my idea! I'll use larger cardboard pieces and more yarn! Ah! Only slimes can wear such hats! The ones like me! I have no doubt about that, but the ghost won't wait! Let's create a fluffy trinket by cutting all this. We'll get rid of the cardboard later. I wanted help! Check it out! I tried to wind the yarn around, but I got entangled! <laughs> Ugh, Sue, I don't feel well now. <laughs> Sorry, I'll use your yarn for the next step. There you go! This way. And hop, it's very easy! Now we can remove the unnecessary pieces like cardboard and paper clips. Oh, I'll take these! They look like horseshoes, you know! Horseshoes? Huh, I didn't think about that. We may use them for making a toy horse. Uh -huh. Um, I've hidden them for the next craft, so the ghost won't take them away! Great! You are a very smart slime! What is this? Wow, a watermelon? No, Sammy, it's a cute bee! Look! Right! Now I see it! We just need to add a few decorative pieces. Let's start with the wings. I'm sure the ghost will love it. Shouldn't it fly without wings? One, two… Ugh, I guess it can't. Yes, the wings is a must! Let's attach them right now! Huh? It also needs to see where it flies, right? Sammy, check out this little cutie! Bzzz. Ugh! Can she sting me? Of course not! Don't worry! You can't sting anyone having such cute little cheeks, right? Sue! So, according to this image, she also needs a stinger and feelers! Don't worry, Sammy! Here they are! And here comes another one! And the stinger goes straight to the back! Huh? All we've left to do is to add the chain so you can attach this trinket to the keys or a bag. The first thing for our ghost is ready. Let's keep going! Look at this trinket! You're completely relaxed. You want to help me make another one! I'm relaxed. I want to help! I'll bring the box with my favorite stuff! Just a second… Here it is, Susie! Wow! You keep so many interesting things in here! All right! Unfreeze! Now you can move! What have I done? Oh my god, my treasures! Treasures? Well, let me see what interesting stuff you're hiding there! Uh, um, nothing special! Don't look in there! <laughs> okay, I won't! I'd rather start making a trinket tassel! Huh? A tassel? It looks more like a wig with pigtails! Let me tie it for you! No way! Whatever you say, Sammy! We'll make you some more great trinkets! Look, it looks like that ghost, doesn't it? Ooh. Ah, the ghost! It'll be back by the evening! Don't worry, Sammy. We still have enough time to make everything that we've planned. Phew, I'm glad I'm not alone. When I'm scared, I can't think of anything! It's alright, Sammy. That's what friends are for, you know? Check out this funny trinket tassel we've got. What do you think? It's cute, of course. But for me, this is not enough for a trinket. I agree. Therefore, we will supplement the tassel with a pom-pom made of yarn. But Sue, we've already made one yarn trinket! 
Sammy, don't worry. We'll do something interesting. The ghost will love it. Okay. Only the beginning matches. It is necessary to wind the yarn around your finger. Sue, Sue! Here, Sue. I brought you that cardboard base. You could wind that around it. Thank you, but I decided to improvise a bit. <laughs> yeah? Well, okay. So we'll do without it. For making small pom-poms, fingers are better. See? The ghost is watching you! <sighs> are you scared? <laughs> no, Sammy, I'm not scared at all. You know the ghost is not coming after me. Check out what a cool pom-pom I got. Well, I see. Just a pom-pom. Similar to what we've already made. Don't rush, Sammy. Now you will see how it will be transformed. We just need to find the right beads. Maybe these ones? Wow! Yeah, you have a real treasure here! Why did you hide it from me? So that I could use it at the most unexpected moment. There are only a couple of steps left. Let's add the chain with the tassel and the second trinket for the ghost is ready. Wow, I really like this option! But I'm sad the ghost will take it. Maybe it will leave you something. By the way, I have a couple more ideas. For the next trinket for the scary ghost, I want to use this beautiful soft felt. Well, it can also be used as a blanket? Why didn't I think of this before? <laughs> well, no. Besides, you already have a blanket. I have prepared these pieces from cardboard as a template. We just need to transfer the outline to the felt and then cut it out. I got it! You want to make a trinket like this! That's right. To realize this idea, we need the pieces out of felt. Hmm, something is missing. Ooh, your magic isn't working right! Now we need to glue them together so that it looks like a cute watermelon. Sue, I already made the second part of it! Thanks! Now let's put some filler inside our trinket so it will be more bulky. Sammy, look for small pieces for decoration while I sew everything together! Check it out! I've chosen these ones! They fit our trinket perfectly! Well done, Sammy! You see how great it is when we work together! Now I will put these pieces to the place where they should be. Sammy, check out this cute little buddy. Oh, Sue, so look! I found one more chain. Without it, a trinket is not a trinket. Here is our wonderful third craft. Bring the others, please. Here, Sue, take them. I even unhooked them from the keys for you. Thank you, Sammy. How do you like the result? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. This is not enough for the ghost. Can we make something else? <laughs> So let's think about it. I have an idea, but I need pictures. Pictures? Will these ones do? Huh? Yeah. Now look what we're going to do. First, let's make the outline. Oh my feta! I got it! I'll draw everything now! No one can do it better than me. Like this. A little more. Uh-huh. I won't even argue with you. The next step is to color our drawing. And here's what I've got! What about you, Sammy? And I have such a picture! Pretty sure the ghost will like mine better! We need to glue these drawings to the foam paper and… Wow! What a pineapple! Sue, how are we going to secure them? These patches are beautiful, but still… There are several ways! For example, you can use a pin! <laughs> we'll attach our patches to your bag! What do you say? Agreed! We have some patches on a self-adhesive fabric. Guys, let's check out all our crafts again! You should practice more. So many colorful wool balls! Where did you find them? I have my ways. Guys, you can check out your local arts and crafts stores. Oh, look at this vibrant color! Can't wait to start drawing! Okay, I'm ready! Where is our canvas? I can't see it. No, no, Sammy. We're gonna use white felt as a base. 
And this is our tool today instead of a paintbrush. Ta-da! Sugar me shudders! Those needles look sharp. How are we gonna use it? First, let's place a felt pad under the canvas for safety and to protect our work area. We don't want to make a hole in our table, right? At least I hope so. <laughs> are you sure? I kind of want a new table. <laughs> You're gonna have to pay for it then. Anyway, let's take this much for the first try. Okay. We'll spread the wool onto the canvas evenly. Now let's take the tool. We'll hold it vertically like this. Wow, it's kind of satisfying. Guys, do you hear it? It sounds so crunchy. <laughs> Susan, be careful! Guys, you may need adult supervision here! It's a treat for my ears! Ahem, Susie, how do I look? Hmm, very bold. But we're running out of wool, so… Hey, be gentle! And why are you using different colors? Cause we're making a background for our picture. It will have many colors like a rainbow. Wind blue! Show us more, Susie! We wanna see it! Woohoo! Guys, which color should be next? Let's make a random choice. What color is this? Susan, close your eyes and make a guess! Okay, this'll be fun. Where? Oh, here it is. Let's see. Is it green? Um, what a surprise! You're a seer! <laughs> and I also know what we're gonna do next. But it's a secret, shush. Guys, we're making a sweet surprise for you. Get ready! The next color will be… will be… Uh, what? Me? <laughs> no, Sammy. I pointed at this orange wool behind you. Guys, check this out! Half of the drawing will be finished in a blink of an eye! Ooh, this looks great, but… It feels like a groundhog day! Take a piece of wool, attach it, take another piece… Wait, is she drawing me? I really have to see that! Guys, check out this yummy cupcake! The finishing touches the sprinkles. Okay, I've lost track. Why did we need a pink color? Interesting question, Sammy. Guys, any guesses? Hint, it's gonna be a berry! A pink berry? Is that an actual name? Oh, strawberry! Why the mozzarella? Are we gonna draw the seeds too? Bingo! You look pretty gobsmacked. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll like the result. It already looks so yummy and cute. I'm in awe. It's time to draw some seeds! I got into the swing of wool drawing! <laughs> Finally! I bet we'll finish this picture much faster with your help. It's a masterpiece! But what's the theme here? A rainbow or a cupcake? I vote for a cupcake! Let's make it outstanding! Winds are blowing, the outline is showing! What a rhyme! Let's peel the felt canvas out of the felt pad. Here is an embroidery hoop for our first wool painting! We can use it as a frame! Great! Let's place the picture between the sides and tighten the fastenings. Susie, come on! I need to post it on my feed! Trim can't wait any longer! Just a second! Click! Okay, it's done. Now all of the edges are neat. Same macaroon! Do you wanna see? Okay, check it out! Hmm, hold on. Huh? Did you eat the cake without me? Oopsie! You shouldn't have seen that. I left you a smaller piece. You know what? I got a spark of inspiration. Let's make one more picture. And you will be my model. Um, okay. But I don't want to pose. Here, take my picture instead. <laughs> All right, I'll use your photo as a reference. Nice one, by the way. Now let's pick the background color, blue or violet. What should I do? I like them both. Okay, that one suits me better. Then let's make an even background once again. Here we go. Oh, this is so nice to the touch. Bet I can do it much faster than you, Susie! I don't mind. I'd like to laser around. Told ya! Hey! Susan, over! Susan! Oh, my feta. I've lost track of the time. Sorry. Stop faffing around and let's draw me! We'll start with an outline. We should repeat all of your pretty curves. 
Huh? Am I that chubby from the left side? Can you edit this? It's not my fault, Sammy. We have no wool filters here. That's it! Susan, I fire you! No way! Stop bickering! Oops. Guys, we gotta take a short break. Don't you go anywhere! Guys, we're back after some technical issues. <laughs> uh-huh. And from now on, my duty is to shoot everything myself. Hey! Do I have such big eyes? It's my artistic choice, and you look even cuter! All right, I might agree with that. Keep going! More praises for Sammy. Wait till we get to the cake. I want rainbow sponge cakes! Please! All right, all right. Just find me some colorful wool. Ugh, there's not much wool left. I hope it's enough for one piece of cake. Easy, Sammy. Let me check your glasses for the reference. Oh, uh... <laughs> it was very helpful. Thanks, Sam. What are you hiding there? Show me! Sammy is not Sammy without his glasses. <laughs> and without his chubby cheeks. <laughs> A wool cake is worth it! No questions! Hmm, but I still can't see it! My cake, I mean! Sammy, it won't be small! I wouldn't torch you like that for nothing! Here, let's start our wool baking! <laughs> it looks delicious even in wool! Stay patient, Sammy! I haven't even finished the frosting yet! Oh, how come, Sue? Ugh. No, no, Sammy, wake up! You'll miss the most interesting part! Yep, I know! We have an emergency here! A huge piece of my cake was eaten! And not by me! <laughs> the case is solved! We'll just fill in the missing part with more wool! Whew! We're done! Sammy, you look so cute here! Anyway, the original me is still the best! Let's put me in a frame! Thanks! You're gonna look awesome in this! <laughs> Susie, that's not a flattering angle for me! Turn it a bit! Okay, how about now? Is it better? Wait! I gotta find a better perspective! Awesome! Go on! Finally! Guys, use the scissors to cut off the edges! Watch your fingers and don't rush! You may need to ask an adult for help! Can we make a little picture of me with a cookie? Guys, check this out. Let's watch the final result. Welcome to our wool gallery!